Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the quadratic functions. As you know, that polynomial functions are the, uh, the root of so many types of functions. Therefore, again, we shall resort to it and we shall use this in order to get the quadratic functions. Let's assume this standard form of the polynomial functions again. And uh, for the quadratic functions, the value of n, that is the degree of the equation, is 2. Therefore, we shall restrict the polynomial function to these, uh, to these terms and we will get the quadratic function. Now, this quadratic function, which is now in the form of an equation, has a standard form. And that standard form is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. This is well known as quadratic equation. As you have already understood that the degree of the quadratic equation is 2, that is the highest power of the independent variable in this equation is 2. Now we come to the graph of it and you will see that it will give us a parabola. Now we need to understand what this word means. Doing the etymology of this word, para, para means beside and bola means throw. So it is something related to throw. Now when you see um, a baseball player or any cricket player who is throwing a ball in the air, it, it takes a certain uh, sort of curve till it's landing on the, on the earth. And that is something like this as you can see in the diagram. It's, it's, a, it's a sort of half circle. But it's not necessarily a half circle. Just for the sake of understanding, we can say it is quite similar to a half circle. Now, this shape is known as parabola. And uh, this shape has this feature that it has only one wiggle or bump in it. Now, this is the part that we can say is the wiggle or bump in it. It's, it's a sort of, uh, you know, more apparent part of the diagram. And it can either be in the form of a hill or a valley. Now, you can see it, it looks like a hill, right? Now, it's a hill, it's a mountain, and uh, it looks like a hill. But if it is in the reverse way, that is, it is in the shape of a U, then it will look like a valley. A valley is something where, you know, there is um, a, a shape of U, and the hills are on the sides of it. So, this is how we can say that this parabola can be either in the shape of a hill or in the shape of a valley. Now we are coming to the extensive diagrams of parabola. Firstly, this is the standard form, as we all know, of a quadratic equation, and it gives rise to a parabola. And this parabola can be either in this shape or in that shape. Let us give these two shapes of the parabola their more suitable terms. The first graph is also called a happy parabola or U-shaped parabola or open upwards parabola because you can see it's open upwards right and it's a u-shape yes and it looks like a happy parabola why because if i make a smiley here it will have this uh, you know sort of u-shape and this looks like a happy parabola now uh, the condition for that the mathematical identification of that is the positivity of the coefficient of x square the coefficient of x square, which in the standard form is small a, it should be positive. It should be greater than zero. Then we shall have the happy parabola or u-shaped parabola. As we have mentioned the condition here, a is greater than zero. But what if a is less than zero? What would happen? The reverse should happen. How reverse can happen? It should look like a sad parabola because now this is a sad face and this is that simile that we are trying to create here sad parabola and inverted u-shape or open downwards because it is open from the downwards and closed upwards or it's a sort of hill you can say it's a hill and as as opposed to the sort of valley it looked like right as a is equal to minus one if a is equal to minus one then it will look like a sad parabola a sort of uh, hill right now these values we have actually taken from the diagrams on the left hand side a is equal to 1 we have actually taken it from here this is the coefficient of x square a is equal to minus 1 we have taken it from here 
is the coefficient of x square again and these graphs they are actually to the scale and these are more precise shapes of the parabolas this is happy parabola and that is the sad parabola but mostly we say that it's a u-shaped or inverted u-shaped parabola because sad and happy they are similes and they they're not the most suitable words when it comes to academic discussions now the economic examples they are also there to support the application of quadratic functions total cost function is there but it's not the most important thing in this diagram the most important things are the profit function and the revenue function these are having a sad parabola or inverted u-shaped parabola and definitely in their background there has to be a quadratic function now we take another example the famous Leffer curve in which tax rates are there and revenue generation can be depicted on y-axis but you see the shape is having a parabolic trend and it is the inverted u-shaped parabola so you see in micro as well as in macro economics we can see the quadratic functions coming for our help 